Summary, N-acetyl-L-cysteine, NAC, is a prodrug for L-cysteine, a precursor to the antioxidant glutathione, an essential antioxidant in the body. NAC supports glutathione replenishment which has been found to bind to the glutamate recognition sites of the NMDA and AMPA receptors. It also promotes healthy inflammatory responses. Introduction N-acetyl-L-cysteine, also known as acetylcysteine or NAC, is a prodrug for L-cysteine, a precursor to the antioxidant glutathione, an essential antioxidant in the body. NAC supports glutathione replenishment which has been found to bind to the glutamate recognition sites of the NMDA and AMPA receptors. It also promotes healthy inflammatory responses. Acetylcysteine was initially patented in 1960 and licensed for use in 1968. It is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines and is easily accessible for a very affordable price. Benefits and Effects NAC improves cognitive function. Combinations of NAC with other antioxidants improve cognition in both healthy older people and those with mild cognitive impairment. NAC has many studies on enhancing cognitive function in Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and schizophrenia. Currently, it's under research for boosting cognitive performance after general anesthesia. NAC reduces symptoms of depression. NAC helps people with depression by balancing glutamate levels within the brain. Doing so, it reduces inflammation and increases the growth of new brain cells. R. In a study of more than 500 participants, NAC shows an improvement in symptoms of depression and overall functionality. At 2000 mg per day, it improves mood in people diagnosed with depression. NAC helps symptoms of bipolar disorder and mania. NAC improves chronic health issues such as heart disease and hormonal imbalance in people with bipolar disorder. In a six-month study, NAC indirectly shows to affect overall health, antioxidant, and inflammation levels, as well as mood. Another study on 17 subjects with bipolar disorder, NAC shows improvements in low moods and reduction in overall associating symptoms after six months of supplementation. In a study of 15 individuals suffering from mania, NAC also shows improvement after a six-month regime. The group receiving NAC had a reduction in symptoms versus the one receiving placebo. However, mood swings seem to worsen as a result. NAC reduces symptoms of OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder. NAC balances glutamate levels as well as increases antioxidants within the brain. In a study of 44 subjects with OCD, a NAC dose of 2000 mg added to standard medication shows to improve symptoms, even in severe cases. R. Another study of 48 subjects who didn't respond to typical treatment, NAC shows to improve symptoms after a 3-month period safely. NAC is useful for obsessive-compulsive disorders according to extensive research. It shows promising benefits and has very few side effects. NAC improves male fertility. In addition to helping women with PCOS, polycystic ovary syndrome, NAC may help increase fertility in men. Oxidative stress damages the sperm's DNA, which results in reducing fertility. A study done on 120 infertile men receiving NAC, improvements were notable in semen quality and antioxidant status after a period of three months. Other studies look at the fertility benefits of NAC in combination with other antioxidants such as B vitamins, vitamin C, and D. The combination improves the sperm count in those with low sperm count. In an extensive study of almost 500 infertile men, NAC with selenium show improvement in fertility after a six-month period. Subfertility conditions. Some men are subfertile they are less fertile without an apparent reason. In 84 of subfertile men trying to conceive, NAC combination supplement called Condensil, with vitamins, zinc, fig extract, and vitamin E, increased pregnancy rates. It raises the fertility potential of subfertile men increasing the rate of successful pregnancy. The typical NAC dose for improving fertility in those studies was 600 mg per day. 
NAC boosts skin health. NAC boosts skin health. Interestingly, NAC can be used as a cream or gel to improve skin health. It boosts glutathione in the skin protecting it from damage. Furthermore, NAC reduces skin inflammation and normalizes skin cell division. It's used for eczema, skin irritation, radiation-induced skin damage, wound healing, and acne. In a study of 100 participants, a 5% NAC gel shows to reduce mild to moderate acne. Overall, NAC skin formulations are promising and very safe. Case reports and animal studies support this wide range of skin benefits of NAC. NAC may improve autism. NAC seems to benefit children with autism. In a study of 33 autistic children, NAC, 900-2,700 mg slash day, shows to reduce irritability after 3 months period. In two different studies with 80 autistic children, those receiving NAC as an add-on to their medication, Risperidone, show less irritability and hyperactivity after 2 months period. NAC reduces muscle fatigue. Overall, NAC tends to help muscles improve blood flow during intense training as well as recover faster after a workout. It also seems to help older individuals in improving fitness and enhancing endurance in athletes on the short term. However, long-term NAC with exercise may prevent muscle recovery. NAC reduces antibiotic side effects. Antibiotic side effects arise from free radicals damage. As a potent antioxidant, NAC, 1200 mg per day, reduces side effects, prevents kidney and ear damage from several strong antibiotics in two studies of 100 people. R. R. NAC also protects the liver from the harmful effects of anti-tuberculosis drugs as shown in a study of 60 participants. Those receiving NAC show intact liver after treatment, while 40% of those who didn't take NAC suffer liver damage. Reliefs ADHD Symptoms In a study of nearly 100 ADHD participants, NAC shows to reduce ADHD symptoms in patients with as well as improving cognition, impulsivity, and overall symptoms. Participants were receiving up to 5G per day during this study. Side Effects NAC is a safe substance with very few known side effects. Occasionally, oral supplements can cause nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, or constipation. Dosage and how to take. The typical dose for general wellness and gut health is 500 mg per day taken in the morning on an empty stomach. 800 to 2400 mg are the most common across clinical studies. However, for a chronic health condition, consider a higher dose. Studies concerning addiction and mental health issues use doses closer to 3,000 mg per day. Daily doses should be taken at 2 to 3 times a day.